New at 6, brand new information about an investigation we've been following for you for months. Our investigators were the first to tell you about uh, a communication issue in Euclid. That's right, so-called dead spots in buildings made it difficult for firefighters responding to calls, but that's all changing. Investigator Jonathan Walsh live in the newsroom. And Jonathan, you spoke with fire officials today. It has been a process for the fire department to figure out a new system and test various areas in the city. Physically walking and using the old television commercial line, Hey, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? When we initially switched over to the new radio system, we did find, discover some in-building coverage issues. I was there in July, stepping along with Euclid Fire Administration as they checked their radios in stairwells, garages, and hallways of high-rise buildings. I'm going to try now on Fire Channel 1. You can proceed with your test. Chris Haddock is the chief, and after collecting months of data... There's always going to be issues where there's some, some spots we just know we won't be able to communicate in, so we're aware of those. One workaround is a mobile repeater <coughs> that can go to the scene and make sure the radios work in the toughest of areas in Euclid. And those dead spots, when we push the emergency button, it's that works, that overpowers everything. So Chief Haddock said the mobile repeater has greatly assisted his staff and there's now some consideration of buying additional units to help communication even further. The bottom line, we need to have great communication and we have the mechanisms in place to ensure that. Now, grant money helped pay for some new radios and his confidence now in the system, well, in his words, quote, 100% and if there was any doubt in my mind that we shouldn't use it, we wouldn't. With this On Your Side update, I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.